In my hand here is a Naviscouto portable CD player and it comes with a remote. But this is way more than just a CD player. It has stereo speakers. I can hook up a Bluetooth to this and play songs off of my phone. I can play songs off of a USB stick. It has an auxiliary input so I can use that as well. So I'll be checking out the Naviscouto portable CD player coming up on Thrifty AV. Quick disclaimer, the folks at Naviscouto sent over this portable CD player as a review sample. If they want this sample back, they can ask for it back. I am not being paid for this review and all opinions expressed in this video are my own. I've been playing with this for a few weeks, probably a little longer than the folks at Naviscouto would want before I publish a video, but I really wanted to put this through its paces and see how it does. And I found that it kind of fits a niche between a full-size boombox and your typical portable. Of course, it's bigger than a typical portable, but it has these built-in speakers and, you know, a remote. So that makes this more of a small jam box. And especially the fact that it has a mounting bracket back here and a little flip thing where I can just set it down on the table like so. Now, this is already out of the box. Let's back up and check out the unboxing. All right, this is the Naviscouto portable CD player. Packaging says wall mountable, but that's really not going to be a point of emphasis for me. Let's get into this box. Okay, here is the instructions, wall mountable CD player instructions. Again, no branding on that. It does have a remote here, a white remote. Batteries are included. I like that it came with its own audio cable here. Here's the AC adapter. Everything's white. And this is definitely not the smallest CD player I've seen because it has built-in speakers here. And yes, it is very much wall mountable. Or if you pull that out, you can set it upright on a table. Okay, here is the plate. If you want to wall mount it, you would screw this plate into the wall. And then it will slide in like that. Now the power is DC 5 volts and it uses a barrel connection for that power. Let's go ahead and plug it in, pop in a CD. Now I haven't measured this cord, but it's about seven feet long. Uh, sorry metric folks, I'm not converting that right now. I'm gonna plug in this power. Right now I'm getting a red light right here. There is an internal battery here. I'm not sure how many milliamp hours it is but it is in the process of charging. When this unit is fully charged, that red light will go out. All right, the portable remote runs on AAA batteries and it came with two AAA batteries, so you don't have to provide your own. Now, even though this is still charging, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and that red light's still on. Now I'm gonna open it up, the eject is right there and put a CD in here. I've never had a copyright strike with the Bakerton group. Uh, when you put a CD in here, you have to go ahead and click it in before you close the door. And you can see that it's spinning up. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. It shows 10 tracks on the CD. And now these uh, built-in speakers kicked in here. See how loud I can get it. All right, there's a volume indicator, and that's max volume, and that's pretty loud for this little box here. Okay, chapter ahead takes it to the next song. I can also scan ahead, and that's working fine. Now, I'm assuming the infrared sensor is in here somewhere because when I point the remote right here, it is working fine. So let's say I wanna to go to track eight. I'm gonna hit eight. You gotta wait a little bit. And then it goes to track eight. There are four repeat modes here. This will repeat the same song over again. This will play the whole CD over again. This is a shuffle mode that'll scramble the tracks. 
And this intro will play the beginning of each song. So if I go to the next song, it should play only maybe, I'm going to guess 10 seconds. We'll see. All right, it played 10 seconds and then it went to the next track. All right, the next mode I want to check out is Bluetooth mode. As you can see, hitting mode, I see a BT right here. All right, I'm going to hit pair new device. I don't know what this BQ is, but I'm going to go ahead and hit it. That might be what this is. I'm going to hit pair. Now it says paired. And now I am paired with Bluetooth through my phone. It's working just fine. The next thing I want to try out with the Naviscouto is a USB stick. This has some MP3 songs on it. It is formatted FAT32. I have to change modes to USB and it just lit up. And it's playing track one. I want to track ahead and you can track ahead just like on a CD. I want to try scanning ahead and you can scan ahead just like on a CD. Okay, the next mode I want to try out is the auxiliary mode. I have the cable that came with it plugged into my phone. I'm now going to plug the auxiliary into the auxiliary input here. And this is the auxiliary mode and it is working just fine. One issue that you might run into with a portable CD player is self noise. Basically, motor noises leaking into the audio signal. Now I'm using the headphone jack, I'm using a SyncWire brand cable to run from the headphone jack into this Tascam recorder. I'm now recording on the Tascam recorder and this CD has a minute of silence on it. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. There was a little intro where I intro it and then it's a minute of silence and then I outro. Now I'm going to play this back and boost the gain and see if any motor noises are showing up in this audio signal. Stand by for one minute of silence. With no gain on the recording, this thing is pretty quiet. I selected the silent portion of the track and I did an amplify of 50 decibels. 50 decibels is a lot of gain, so the noise that you're hearing is not something you would normally hear, but it is there. And there were two spikes here and here, and toward the end of the track, uh, extra little hum started to show up. The instructions do not say what the capacity of the internal battery is. It just says that the battery is not removable. Please use the supplied power adapter to charge the player. Amazon says that you can get five hours of listening time out of a charge. I haven't put it on a timer, but I've used this device for several hours unplugged in the process of testing it. So the lithium battery built into this thing does last a good long time. At the beginning of this video, I dismissed the notion of mounting the Naviscouto to my wall, but being white, it kind of matches my kitchen, so maybe I will use the mounting bracket and screws. If you're interested in this Naviscouto, find the affiliate link in the description. Thrifty AV earns a small commission off of affiliate links at no additional charge to you. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel. And remember, stay thrifty, everyone.